day five. We're out here for Pompano Day, and we're gonna get some more today. Wish us luck. So Chase has one. Pompano. Oh yeah, that's a Pompano. Nice, first flatty, silver flatty of the day. Woo! How does it feel? What is it? Look. How does it feel? Pompano. Yeah? Reel it up, walk down to the shore. Walk down to the edge and then get ready to walk back. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, it's a big one. Oh no, it's a ladyfish. All right, pull her, pull her in. All right, that's good. Nice lady. Just keep an eye on that one down there. Here you go, you wanna hold it for the picture? Keep an eye on that. This is a ladyfish. A what? A ladyfish. Keep an eye on that pole down there. What? It's a ladyfish. A ladyfish? Yes. Looks like a shark. Yeah, in case you got it. Yeah. Check, keep an eye on that pole down there. There she goes. There she goes. So today we spread out a lot more than yesterday. We actually set up in all three spots where we caught the pompano. In the morning, we caught our first two big pompano right here. And then in the afternoon, we caught a big one down there where Chase is. So we're seeing what we can do. If we get a hit in the middle, we gotta run and get it really quick because there's big cow rays out here and they will pull your whole rig into the ocean and you can pretty much kiss it goodbye. When the tide comes in, it's gonna be really good where all these periwinkles are. Pretty much all through here, these are all periwinkles. Look how thick they are. So this is gonna be our spot to cast into right here at high tide from up there. The pompano are gonna be coming up and eating these periwinkles. They're all in here, look at them all. Tons of them. Just walking on them. Okay guys, so I told you earlier I was gonna teach you how to do a blood knot. So basically it's just tying two lines together. I got a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader right here and then 30 pound braided line right here. So I'm just gonna put them both together at the ends right here, like that. I have enough tail at the end to work with on this side. And then start it over here. Basically all you're gonna do is put both lines together, twirl them around about seven times, eight times and then stick both tail ends through the hole that you made right here. Usually I pull it out with my tongue. So now this is what we got right here. I got two ends coming out of here. Get my finger out of there. And then I got this side here. And then you wanna pull both, all the, all the ends together at the same time. Just like this. If you get a little loop and one is a little bit off more than the other, then just pull that one tight like that. And then basically what you have when you're done is that. Double check it, pull it, and that's your blood knot. And then you trim the tails and put on your lure. I'm gonna put this on and try bouncing it through the high tide water with a small sand flea on the end. 
see if I can get a pompano close to shore at high tide while we got these poles out. Oh my gosh, guys, this is epic. My buckhead jigtail just worked. I don't know if I got a pompano on or what, but I just caught it on a little. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, he's running. It's a big pompano. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I've never caught a pompano on a bucktail jig like this before. <laughs> yes, it's a big one too. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him, look at him. Look at that beauty. Oh wow, look at that thing. Woo. Look at him. Beautiful. Ocean gold, baby. We get that leader. Tighten my drag and drag him up. I don't want to tighten it too much. Ocean gold, baby. <laughs> That's the biggest pumping I've ever caught right there. On a jig. Hey Chase, I need to get my picture with this. Yeah, just got this beauty in the surf on the jig. Unbelievable, that was epic. Whew. Let's get another one. Flatty, flatty. Pompano! Woo! Oh yeah, that's a pompano. Oh yeah, look at him riding in the wave. Woo! Ah! Broke off. Dang, he came unhooked. Ah, oh, I don't know how that happened, but it happened. I even saw the pompano in the surf. Dang. So I tied this jig head when I was about in sixth grade, when I was into tying flies and different things. Basically all it is is bucktail, red and white with some gold sparkle and a yellow head and then yellow string. So this is what I got that pompano on earlier this morning. And where I hook the sand flea, I try to hook him closer towards the front. So as he drags through the water, he stays straight on here. Like this, see? Now that is ready.
Woo! Woo it's either a little baby tarpon or a Spanish mackerel or a ladyfish. Oh my gosh! Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, I got him. <laughs> Little baby tarpon. Look at this. Oh, it's a ladyfish. It's a, oh. Dang. Took my, took my favorite little fly. Ah, well that was fun. Good, how about you? What do you mean, on my cooler? Yes, yes, sir. Why not? Because there's no sitting allowed to be No sitting? Yes, it's not allowed to be sitting. That's weird, you're why? You're allowed to fish and be stationary and fish, but there's no sitting. Okay, that's weird. All right, thanks. It, all right, appreciate it. It's all good. Stay safe, man. Thank you. Thank you. Well, apparently we're not allowed to sit anymore. I guess uh, I'm not allowed to sit on my cooler. While pompano fishing, occasionally, you can just reach down in the ocean and grab a bottle of wine. an unopened bottle of wine. I don't know if this is a good bottle or not. I'm not really a wine drinker. Please hit that like button and subscribe down below. The hand cart, fishing cart worked very well today. All right, look at today's catch and find. I'm pretty sure this is uh, still good, this wine. If anybody wants to leave a comment below, tell me what kind of wine this is. But yeah, so it's, it's one of the biggest, this is the biggest pompano I've ever caught in the surf.